What's going on everyone? Combo Fiend here again to introduce to you Poison. So what you'll notice is that this isn't like the other change videos that came out previously and that's because Poison's new, there aren't really any changes to go over. So instead of doing that, I'm actually going to sit here and kind of break down what you should be trying to look out for and employ into your game early on and use, the, use this sorry, as kind of the building block or building blocks I should say to improve your overall gameplay. Now I mean some of the stuff here I'm, I'm gonna show you guys is kinda basic to those who have played in the time but for those who are new and, and aren't too sure what to you know use with the character, what strategies to employ, I'm trying to give you a good uh, a decent insight as to what to look out for. So with Poison you know she has a variety of attacks here you know some of them pretty good some of them not so good. Uh, one of the things that you really want to know with her or what to use with her is her crouching light punch. So her crouching light punch is three frames, which is pretty fast. You know, it helps push the opponent out, especially when, you know, those in, in those sticky situations where they're trying to rush you down pretty hard. And it also links into her uh, stand middle kick. So you kind of want to make sure you em employ that as your primary source of pressure. You know, you get near them, jab, throw, you know, or jab, and then kick them. Uh, it helps with your blocks stun combos as well, you know, well that didn't combo there, that could be kind of dangerous, but, you know, it, it lets you put on the pressure, you could see it, and if it hits, you could do some whip of love combos, it, it's pretty good. So, the crouching light punch is your friend, make sure to use that. Uh, also, when you knock the opponent down, you kind of want to use their elbow drop and try to hit it as late as possible, so if it hits like that, and they get hit, you get a low jab, you get a free combo, you could go into all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, you definitely want to use that. The overhead is also not too bad when used from here. You know, it gives you a nice throw. So you you could do some kind of setup or something that you, whatever you develop. And you know, and overall, it lets you keep the pressure. It makes them block high. And if you think that they're gonna block high, you could go like this, and they'll see, oh, she's ducking. You know, they see the quick little duck. Oh, she's gonna go for an overhead, and they're like, no, I'm going to go low. Psyched you out. Let's go. So then another thing you want to look at is her in close stand light kick. So Poison's in close stand light kick is the key to all of her buttons. So you could do you could do that, you know, you could do that. Um you could do that. You could hit light kick into stand heavy kick. So pretty much if you ever wanted to combo into anything with poison, you want to make sure you start with the stand light kick. The stand light kick is your key to everything. And on some characters, she could do two. Two stand light kicks, see it hit, you know, and then go into whatever, whatever uh, floats your boat. So that's pretty good. Make sure to see that, especially when you jump in. Uh, ideally, you want to use jump in heavy kick because it doesn't push the body away, whereas jump in heavy punch does. Um, it just helps out your game a little better. Another thing you want to look out for when you use her is her fireball game, so her alias edge, or alias edge. Uh, she has three different strengths, each going a different a different distance. They all have different kind of startup, different distance traveled speeds, all that. What you want to do when they're far is just use jabs, just annoy them. Like don't don't overexert yourself. And when you want to use a setup, uh, kind of safe one, you want to use the heavy because it's just right there. It's in front of them. It's not going anywhere. It protects you. Definitely the way to go. I mean, the fireball is mainly used to kind of just keep the opponent from hitting you, so you want to use it more as a setup than getting into a projectile war with like Ryu or something. It doesn't really, it's not really ideally used in that purpose, uh, ideally used for that purpose, or so I think. And next up is Poison Whip. So, so the Poison Whip is a, you know, a three hit or sorry, a three command, three hit kind of combo where you have to input it manually each time. A lot of people that I've seen, they complain sometimes that the whip doesn't go as far and it misses. Well, the best way to use the whip is for whatever button you use going into the whip, you have to make sure the whip is the same strength. I know that sounded a little confusing, but what I mean is if you use heavy kick, 
then make sure that the whip that you use is with heavy punch. If you use medium kick, then make sure the whip that you use is with medium punch. And if you use light punch, then make sure you use the light whip. If you use it in the wrong, if you use the lighter button, like let's say a crouching light punch, and then you try to go into a medium or heavy Rekka, what happens is they get blocked. There's not enough hits done, it's not fast enough, and then you get bodied. So just make sure you do that, and that way you also, you know, you, your character goes the furthest, she gets the most damage, it gets the best spacing. That's the pretty much easiest way to remember it. Whatever button you use going into it, whatever strength you use, make sure the Rekka is of the same strength. Uh, let's see, and then there's Love Me Tender. So Love Me Tender is pretty good when you're fighting the opponent and you want them to block something because Love Me Tender is slightly positive on block which means that you get to pressure them. You have the advantage after they block this and then you could do another low light punch. If that low light punch hits, it might be a counter hit. That means that you're in control now. Let's say Love Me Tender... You, if Love Me Tender hits, you get a second part. You could actually sit here and just press kick and if it's blocked, the second part doesn't come out. So you could play that way too if you're you're not confident in hitting the combo and you don't want to leave damage on the table. You could always do it that way. So even it's kind of like the game will give it to you. If you hit the kicks and it connects, you get the second part. If the kicks if the kick does not connect, you do not get the second part. Um, anyways, regardless, definitely a tactic you want to employ. Another good thing to know about her is her her uh, uppercut into FADC, it, it gives her Ultra 2. I mean, sorry, Ultra 1 every time. So, like, let's say you hit the uppercut focus, Ultra 1, right? I, I mean, it's just like Ryu and Ken and all those guys. So, that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for a way to land Ultra 1. So anyhow, some of the uh, combos and tactics you want to kind of put into your mind with Poison are her EX Fireball. So anything at the EX Fireball is really good. The EX Fireball kind of appears about a fourth of the screen in front of her. So if you're looking for a quick way to chip the opponent or a quick way to just tack on some damage without them being aware, um, you know, just, just throw an EX Fireball at them. They'll, they won't know what hit them. I think that that might be probably her best move. I think that's probably her best move and something you want to employ. So make sure, uh, you know, she doesn't really need to do EXs all too often. So if you just need a quick way to, to score some damage, that's really good. Also, her main combo is crouching light punch, crouching light punch, standing medium kick. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you're kind of trying to confirm some attacks, you could do that. And if you hit the uh, EX Rekka, you actually get whatever you want afterwards. You could actually get another Rekka, just attack on the damage, or... You know, you could do a uh, jump and then knock them out the air, or jump and then land uppercut. It's really up to you to figure out what kind of tactics you want to go into after that. Do you want to try to go for an air reset? Maybe that's what you're looking for. Some players, they want to uh, hit them out the air and then run under them or run next to them or something like that. Uh, she she has a lot to she has a lot to think about after the EX Whip of Love. It's really up to the player to develop something there. And I mean, it's it's definitely really good to use if you have meter because it will push the opponent to the corner that much faster and it'll give you the spacing that you want and you need, the control that you want and you need. And look at that. Now they're already in the corner and Poison can just control. Poison is really good with her long range attacks and uh, really good at controlling the spacing of the opponent. So you want to be cool about it. Stay right here and just kind of excel and then once the opponent gets tired, you you know you kind of go in with the love me tender, and then low jab, and then stand medium, and then occasionally throw them. So if you employ all of these tactics, you you pretty much see that the opponent will be frustrated. They'll probably make more attacks faster. They'll, they'll probably make more incorrect attacks faster, and ultimately will result in your victory. So anyhow, guys, once again, this is Combo Fiend signing out showing you what Poison's all about. Hopefully you guys develop your game with her and you show me some new tactics. Thank you.